Photographer Mark Sirota has accomplished much in his career, from shooting on top of the Olympic Beach Volleyball Stadium in London, England, to a photo studio in Beverly Hills, where he convinced the best basketball player in the world to stick out his tongue. I can't tell you how important it is to me to pass on the knowledge that I've accumulated in 25 plus years of being a professional photographer. Ah, oh, it's gorgeous. Very well. Okay, Caitlin, come on in. Very well. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Yeah, and when they get playful like that, there's your shot. And the other thing you learn, when you have your shot, move on. If I want to search for a picture of Andre Agassi from the Orange Bowl Classic when he was 13, or Halle Berry from the Miss America pageant when she was Miss Ohio in 1984, I can keyword into one of my hard drives and find that picture because I, I identified it properly. So as you shoot on and on in your career, you're going to find out that you know finding your pictures quickly is more important than anything. Because there you go. Okay, something like this. You know, the TV's already gone. Really, dude? Seriously? Let's try. You cannot allow your hair and makeup artist to take over your photo shoot. You know, nothing goes the way you plan it. You can have everything held accountable for, and something goes wrong. And how you handle those situations define you more as a photographer than anything else. How's it look? The flare on her face? Flare is good. And move, yeah, flare works. Move over a little bit that way so we're not blocking the light. <laughs> this past weekend has been eye-opening. I've learned so many things just between sports photography about the different camera equipment you can use to fashion photography and the different lighting and how difficult it is to work with the sun and outdoor lighting. And Mark has just been an amazing teacher throughout all of this and I'm just inspired to go further with this. So did their clothes look good? Yeah. That's all that matters. It can be used for so many purposes. I love photography for so many reasons. One, I just love to capture moments. I love to capture people. You're stopping time. This, this is terrible for you, I know. This is horrible. Okay, what she really didn't know that she was learning with the hands-on experience under Mark's tutelage was phenomenal maybe two to one, two and a half times to one to the background. That's how you get those really rich dark skies, okay? Excellent. Excellent. We're having a really good time. You know, it's very important to me that I teach my students how to go out and get clients, how to go out and create business for themselves. That's the biggest reason why they're, they're attending a workshop like this. I mean, sure, they want to learn the lighting and the detail and how to deal with models and build that sort of confidence. But at the end of the day, they're taking pictures because they want to have a career at it. Yeah, you know, as good as Mark is as a photographer, he's an even better teacher and coach. Yeah, Mark was generous enough to help us out with some content for our website. And for a small business, it's important. You know, it's a big expense. And if I can learn the photography and how to provide my own content, it can really save me a lot of money and, and help out our bottom line. Uh, we actually broke out into a meeting and a conversation about usage rights and royalties and what to charge clients and I found myself conducting a workshop neck deep in the most beautiful water you ever want to be in and you know if that's, that doesn't get you into you know working in photography in that fashion I don't know what will.